morning. Oh my gosh. Do I look blue? Does it look blue back here? Oh no, it's my lip. We need to do a red. Like something's off. Coloring is everything. Okay, hi. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here. Having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldie but goodie. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys been showing me. My latest content really focusing on teaching techniques and brown skin makeup latina makeup i appreciate you guys and i've been hearing you seeing that you guys really love it so thank you thank you thank you skin is looking so good because i really took my time with my skincare today i let it dry down and i want it to be very very moisturized although i have oily skin I still need a good solid skincare routine i just updated a little bit so i'll put it here you guys know i always have the stuff here and linked down below i always have everything linked for you talking about listening to you and hearing you i've been hearing you guys say you think these two are very similar oh my gosh this is all dirty let's take this off this one's an oldie but goodie it's always going to be a full coverage blurring long wearing foundation it's like an oldie but goodie this is such a trusted one this one right here she's new and she's good too first we gotta prime this skin i want to start off with this primer right here because it is a blur screen slash it kind of am i trying to say gives us like stickiness so that's what i really love it does blur very well it has sunscreen and let this dry Ooh, be back okay we're a little sticky which is great i also want to use this one from milani to blur these pores right here like the front 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 the next one does blur well i really feel like this milani will take the cake could do a little blur in here so of course let's let this dry down also primed up very well let's look at swatches First, one size is gonna be closest to my fingers. Estee Lauder closest to my wrist. Shades immediately, a little off. Look at the texture. This is one size, this is Estee Lauder. You see how it's moving? We can see one size is thicker, right? Let's add a little more. Will it move if I add more? No. Let's spread Estee Lauder. One size, she's thick. You could just see. Estee Lauder, I think that's the beauty of it. It's not thick, but very pigmented. On the left side, it's gonna be one size. The right side, Estee Lauder. I'm gonna apply them and blend it out with the same exact brush. I mean, two different ones, of course. And as I do that, I'm gonna give you info about each one. The so one size, Turn Up The Base Full Beat Waterproof Liquid Foundation, retail for $44. I'm in the shade Medium 65R. It comes in 38 shades. This is a long wear waterproof, sweatproof foundation for formulated with only 16 ingredients that give full coverage and maximum comfort to visibly blur and smooth without clogging pores. Highlighted ingredients is Laurel Lysin, an amino acid that prevents makeup breakdown and provide water and sweat resistant, alkaline complex, 100% plant derived emollient replace silicones for a smooth feel, dry silk powders that blur skin with a soft focus effect. Oldie but goodie. Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place 24 Hour Long Wear Foundation retails for $52. I'm in the shade 4N1 Shell Beige. It comes in 56 shades. This is a 24 hour liquid foundation with a flawless natural matte finish that unifies uneven skin and covers imperfections with buildable coverage. The coverage is full. The finish is matte. Both available at Sephora, Estee Lauder, at Ulta, and other places. They are a little different because of texture. One size a little bit goes a long way. Here, because the texture is thinner, you can add more you get a little more blurring on the Estee Lauder side what do you think so Estee Lauder something about this side looks very smooth one size I mean one size does too one size tone is a little warmer as we know one size does run warm which is why I go with the rosy tones instead of the neutral tones I do have a neutral undertone because this runs warm go with the rosy slash red undertone which works well so I'm really curious to see how this is going to dry down, if it's going to dry down. I definitely do feel, though, that Estee Lauder is like a more seamless application. I'm like, no wonder everybody loves it. And it's been a thing for a what, solid, what, 25 years? I don't know. Estee, one size. Of course, when it comes to tone, Estee Lauder is a much seamless, much better. It really melts into my skin. You can see my face and my neck 
are truly matching. Here, you can see it matches, but you see that warmth coming through, and that's just how it is. So you guys, I'm using this palette. You have a palette to use. You should use it because you use so much less product. Like, look at all this product I have extra. I didn't realize that. I'm realizing that right now. So if you want to save your foundation, add a little bit because this doesn't eat up product. So when you pick it up with your foundation brush, you're just like, you know, okay, what am I doing? Let me tell you the time. Oh, nine o'clock right on the dot. Let's touch. Oh, they're both wet equally. Okay, they're both like a soft matte. This one is, I never found that it dried down completely matte. Let's see these swatches. Textures kind of became the same. This one's one size and then Estee. This has now been a good, what, 11 minutes per the video? Estee Lauder, I'm seeing it dry a little bit, most likely because the texture is just different. It's thinner than one size, it's thicker. So be back, I'm back. It is 9-11. The reason I let my foundation dry because it dries down onto your skin, which means it adheres to your skin, which is going to help it last longer. You don't have to wait the 11 minutes I did. You could wait two minutes, you could wait five minutes. As long as you have a little bit of time, Okay, wow, they both dried down the same. I'm looking a little orange here. You see how just perfect this tone is? Because <laughs> we have some here in the palette and I try not to waste foundation. I have manchas here. I want to build. When you build on foundation when your skin's a bit dry, like how we have it now, your foundation will build very well. I'm going to get the other finger and get the Estee Lauder side. Damn, Estee Lauder feels like paint now since it's been sitting here. What was I saying? I forgot. Oh, you're not building on such wet skin that it's going to build so nicely and flawlessly. You build, you don't want to put a whole nother layer on top. You just want to focus on the areas that need more coverage. I have melasma here, especially this cheek is a hot mess. So we need to cover her. I just added right here. I'm like, where did I add? Okay, okay. And we're going to get the Estee Lauder brush. Estee Lauder is that girl. I worked with them last year and I'm like, damn, she is that girl. Mm -hmm. Now the foundation is dried down. This is one size Estee Lauder. What do you think? They're now kind of looking the same to me. Oh wait, my nose. Wow. Estee Lauder does smell like paint now that I'm putting it right close to my nose. I'm like, oh yeah. I thought I knew, but I don't. So let me have concealer. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm looking at the tone and I'm like, we can use a little bit of pink to set our skin because this will give us a little bit of coolness. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Pink Cherry Blossom Powder. This can also do a little bit of highlighting as well. I don't want to put too much powder. I mean, I always say that. I'm like, okay, let me calm it down. Uh, this is all I'm going to put really press it in well I don't want to add additional powder just to see like I really want to kind of have my skin peek out a little bit and not be too matte but I also need to set my skin because I do have oily skin can be looking as you know so I love that both of these brands have a good amount of shades to work with especially if you are brown skin these foundation shades are really really good so you can find it the only thing is the undertones undertones are really what I would say is most important along with the shade let's say I were to get something a little bit lighter with the correct undertone you wouldn't be able to see it or if it was deeper same thing because this undertone is off I have to have it as close to my tone as humanly possible so I don't look like a oompa loompa basically this one I have some wiggle room as long as the undertone is good I could go a little bit deeper a little bit lighter and I should be good I did talk about undertones and shade tones in a video I'll put the thumbnail here check it out because it's a good one Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Looking, they look the same. This one you could definitely see the difference in shade versus Estee. Estee feels a little more on the dry side. I didn't add any more powder. I'm literally just using the powder I dipped them first. Okay, and then here, oh yeah, one size. It's not as set down. So one size. Estee Lauder. We'll see. We'll see. Let me look here. This is one size and Estee Lauder. Do you see a difference? I think they look very similar. I don't think one is blurring more than the other. Maybe one size a little bit, like right here. I don't know. Let's finish up the face. I'm going to speed it up and let's see how things look. <laughs>
I honestly don't know. I like both, especially after powders. I am kind of leaning towards Estee Lauder. I just think from application to shade to texture, I really love how it lays on the skin. Oh, look, not my hair. Oops. But here, one size, don't mind here, I cut myself and it's still not healed. So there's like a dent in my face. So anyway, the bronzer looks patchy, but it's that, not the foundation or anything. One size looks good. It's definitely fuller coverage and it applies a bit thicker on the skin. Not a bad thing, but that's like the main difference, the textures. I wouldn't say these are very similar. I thought they were. Now really looking at them, I don't think they're similar. This one's just more of a full coverage, thicker textured foundation that is a soft matte finish. This is like soft matte when we didn't even know what soft matte was. Look how dirty these both are. That's how I took my thumbnail picture too. This one is just formulated so well. It stands the test of time. The texture is fabulous. It really adheres to the skin. This one does too, but because this texture is thinner, I feel like it gives you more of a natural look and I'm kind of just feeling more of a natural look that provides coverage because I do have this coloration. I don't know definitely the wear test will see which one wears better because right now I feel this way but at the end of the day I may feel another way you know. My lip combo is this right here. Makeup Forever the Artist Pencil in 610 Versatile Chestnut and L'Oreal in 635 Worth It Medium. I like. I like. Let's go in front of the window so you can see the real tea. Okay, in front of the window. This side is the one size, the ear with no piercings. Wait, in daylight it looks good. It doesn't look so oompa loompa, huh? Lighting's everything. That's why I always come in front of the window because the window gives you more of a look, undertones, and how the actual skin tone of the foundation look. Yeah, is that, is that what I'm saying? Yeah. This is Estee Lauder. Okay, I have a nice glow too. I don't know where it's coming from. Here I will say with one size, I'm cracking a little bit like around here, my nose area. I forgot to mention it. I feel like you could see it here. Here it's smooth. You see that? But nonetheless, skin's looking good. It looks even. I thought I was going to look like I have two different foundations on. I mean, I do, but I, it doesn't look like it, right? Okay, bye. Let's do a quick wear test. It's been four hours. Look, one size, double wear. It looks good. Skin is popping. And both sides are. Hello. Oh my God, I'm yawning. Guys, <laughs> it is nine o'clock. I got footage for you a little bit later. The skin is looking good. Here on the left side, the side with no piercing, is the one size side. It was looking good. Everything was looking very, very smooth. I feel like this foundation gets better with skin warm. Or I mean, most foundations get better with skin warm. The other side is Estee Lauder. I did see at this point that it was slightly smoother. You can see my pores less and my skin just looks smoother 12 hours later with no touch-ups look this is one size and estee lauder one size estee lauder now i feel like one size right here looks nice and smooth it's breaking up on my nose area a little bit a tiny tiny bit estee lauder looks so smooth like where are my pores i'm seeing a little bit of peeling here from the one size the one size foundation i do find that it doesn't work with every primer so it's a trial and error when i did my first day review the primer i used didn't work but then i used the second primer on day two and it worked well this one's just the oldie but goodie and i will have to say this one is the winner winner chicken dinner it works ultimately better it has a better shade texture is better pigment is better it blurs a little better also this one's not a bad one if you're comparing these two this one's still the goat who do you think won this battle one size or estee lauder this is a fan favorite this one is a new they're both very full coverage they will provide longevity and blurring of the skin thank you guys for letting me know about these because honestly i did not think about this you guys got me i know i know you do so thank you for the idea wait before i go let's tap i'm just gonna take that first layer off you see that peeling stuff i was telling you about let me get really close so you can see right on the chin the one side side yeah it looks good when you touch up this one you see it's a little wonky but we started off wonky here's looking good both pigments stay. Usually separation will happen at this point when you tap. I still feel like this is the winner. Let me know your thoughts, fam. I will tag and link everything down below. And thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.